The recent clashes in Benue State between farmers and herdsmen has led to the death of many, including women and children. While Nigerians have described the atrocities as unnecessary, there are some who think it has gone too far. To describe the prevailing situation in Benue State as sickening will be an understatement because nothing in the recent history of Nigeria has exhibited such callous disregard for human lives, not even Boko Haram. The Benue State government has set up an anti-grazing law to stop open grazing by headsmen and encroachment into the lands of rural residents who do mainly farming as a source of living. However, one group, the Good Governance and Transparency Initiative, thinks this has escalated the problem instead of solving it. It claims the state government lacks the capacity to enforce the law. The grazing law that he brought is not capable of implementing the anti-grazing law because there is no transparency due to poor publicity and is not carrying along the agency, the security agency. So they don't, the, the anti-grazing law is not well functioning. It's brought about all this violence in the state. The group also thinks the state governor is complicit in the crisis and needs to come out clean. Why is Governor Samuel Otom afraid of an instigation, investigation by the federal government to unravel the immediate cause of the most recent crisis in Guma, its local government area, and logo local government area? The Good Governance and Transparency Initiative says the Benue State Government has budgeted about one billion naira for a smear campaign against those opposed to his anti-grazing law. However, in a swift reaction, the Chief Press Secretary to the State Governor, Teva Kasi, spoke to STV News saying the allegations are false, frivolous, malicious, and intended to deceive the public. From Abuja, Amadin Uyi, STV News.